At this courtroom in Milimani here in Nairobi, it was time for Stephen and Zuki Mutisir to witness the judgment over his acts of shame where he is being accused of defiling minors who are under his watch a few years back. The court was told that in the year 2010 all the way to 2016, Nzuki repeatedly defiled four minors that were under his care at the children's home where he was the director. According to Nairobi Principal Magistrate at the Milimani Law Court, Zainab Abdul, the accused is a family man and a father to one child and that he had similar offences at Makadara and Milimani Law Courts. Defense counsel is that the accused is a family man with one child and also takes care of other children. He pleaded for leniency and a non-custodial sentence. The prosecutor urged the court to impose a maximum sentence whereby the accused took advantage of the homeless and vulnerable boys and went ahead to defile them. It came out during the submissions that during the submissions that the accused person is also facing similar charges at Makadara and Milimani law courts. On her part, senior principal magistrate Zainab Abdul said that Stephen and Zuki ought to have protected the minors, but instead went ahead and defiled them severally at the time where they were minors. She added that, therefore, the responsibility of the court to impose a deterrent sentence so that it will be a lesson to others. Zuki had pleaded for leniency and a non-custodial sentence, which was declined by the court. There is no doubt that the offences committed are very serious and carry a, a, heavy fen, a heavy penalty. The accused being a director of a children's home ought to have protected the minors, but this was not the case. He went ahead and defiled them severally. It is the responsibility of this court to impose a deterrent sentence to other will-be offenders. This is certainly not a case where an accused person can be given a non-custodial sentence as it will amount to mockery to the justice system. The minors who are now adults who are definitely affected by the, victim, by the accused person's uh, actions while delivering her judgment, Zainab said that the court is sentencing Zuki took into consideration how the minors who are now adults have been affected by the action of the accused person. Zuki was found guilty of four counts and he will serve 100 years jail term. In count one, where the minor was nine years at the time of the offense, you shall serve 50 years imprisonment. Count two, where the minor was, the minor was 15 years, you will serve 20 years imprisonment. Count three, where the minor was 13 years, you will serve 20 years imprisonment. Count four, where you were found guilty for the offense of indecent act with a minor, you shall serve 10 years imprisonment. The offenses took place on different dates, therefore the sentences shall run consecutively. Cases of defilement have been on the rise and a report by the Ministry of Health shows that at least 9,484 children were violated in 2021.